All right, this is your chance and your opportunity to laugh at your teacher now. I've been um, working just throughout the night here trying to make videos to go along with the catapult to, to help you along the way. Uh, we started with the base. We did the, um, the structure around the base. We talked about how to use the half-inch Baltic birch to join together to make lap joints and how using the half-inch wood would make it easier to, um, to do all of your your bracing and all your systems. We did the columns and we finished with the adjustable dowel system on your columns. At that point, I was getting ready to do my next video and I was wanting to import a gate latch to show you how to do release mechanisms and the whole system crashed. So <clears throat> I no longer have the, the existing catapult that we were working on to show you anymore. Uh, but we are going to move on to the next phase. Something that I did notice, though, once I started working is I really didn't like the template that we started with doing feet and inches. That's good for doing larger projects um, if, you're, if you're doing bigger construction. But for what we're doing, we're only working in in inches. So I wanted to go through and find out if there was a design that was in inches. There's millimeters, meters, feet, inches, millimeters, meters, feet. And as you go down to the bottom, you're going to come across woodworking. And voila. All of a sudden, we have one that's only in inches, and that's the um, that's the template that I would recommend you use because then you're not worrying about converting um, a measurement such as one foot six inches uh, to figure it out, which is 18 inches. You can just uh, you can just punch it in. You know what it is. So it says here an auto save file exists. Open auto save file. I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to hope this is the catapult that I was working on. Uh, I don't know if it would have saved the most recent file, but um, if we have it, we are extremely lucky. So I am very, very lucky to have this here. You can see that it did save it very close to where I was at the end. Uh, the holes are through on this side. And I, the only thing I did after this point was put in another system on this side or, or, or finish off the dowel holes on the other side. So uh i'm extremely surprised that it did save this i wasn't expecting it i thought this would be gone and i'd be starting from scratch please don't think because this auto save for me this feature is going to work <laughs> for you um, i'm not going to rely on it i'm going to save it again right away as soon as i finish making these dowels i'm going to save it and i will be back with another episode to show you how to do your release mechanism. So this ended up being a very short video. I was going to show you the release mechanism here. I am now ready to go celebrate because I have all my work back and um, it was a lesson learned, but I didn't uh, I didn't really get punished for it. How about that? So I have the two systems in. You can see that I have the adjustable dowel system. I am now going to save my work. You know what I'm going to do for this video? I'm actually going to show you the difference between saving work, saving video, and saving images. So I am going to make this a worthwhile view for you. When you go to save this, uh, you're going to go ahead and save this as a SketchUp model. So that means it is not, it's it's built and it's a CAD design that you're saving um, for use in the future. So we're not done using it or working with it. We can go back and make adjustments to it. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in my documents. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead now and save it. And now I have it. So when I want to go back, I can open up the Catapult um, SketchUp in, or file, and I can make changes um, as need be. So there it is. And the next thing I want to do is I want to show you that um, at some point you're going to want to take pictures of your finished project. So it would be a good idea to put all your measurements in. It would be a good idea to color code it. So you have colors representing the different pieces. So I would color code this. I would make these two pieces definitely the same color, make the base a separate color, uh, make the dowels a separate color. So you can see all the different parts, especially when you go to make your material list. It's nice to see them and you can see how everything goes together. It makes it easier when you go to do the build. The other thing that you need to do though is you gotta take some pictures of this. Maybe it's good to take them along the way or maybe you make changes. This is all proof of the learning that takes place when you're making your catapults. Uh, so in order to take pictures, you go up to File, Export, 2D Graphic. So this is just going to take a two-dimensional picture of your, of your drawing. 
So right now, that's the exact picture that it's going to take. And I don't really like that. I think it's too far away. So I'm going to cancel out. And I'm just going to get it a little bit closer and do the same photo over again. So I'm going to go ahead and go export 2D graphic. And this is going to be um, catapult um, base. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the base and click export. So that's going to go ahead. And that is now just saved a PNG file, which is a picture of the actual catapult. Now, another thing you're going to want to do at the end is you're going to want to make a video. And I'll probably do this again at the end, but I'm going to do it now. We're going to take and we're going to create scenes. So if you go up to the view animation and create a scene. So this is the first view that I have for my actual catapult. So we can see it from this view. Now I can go ahead and I can make some different views. So I could change it and go from the other side and I could create another view. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to add another scene so we can see that side of it. Maybe I want a scene where I could see from the top so we can see how those, how those, how that dowel system works. So I'm going to go from top view, go down, animation, add scene. So I just have three scenes at the top here and I can go ahead and I could, um, I can go ahead and click on those scenes and it will go to that part of the scene and it shows kind of the format and how this is going to look as you go. So this is a great way of showing joinery, how the different pieces of wood fit together. Yours will be all color coded. You can zoom in on your arm. You can zoom in on your release mechanism. You can zoom in on the holder that holds your marshmallow in place. So you can do all that sort of stuff. And, um, it really makes for an impressive video at the end that uh, that people get to watch. So here's all of our views. Now that I have them, I'm happy with my views. I can go ahead and go File, Export, Animation, and I'm going to create a video out of it. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to make a video. So I'm just going to call this Catapult Video. And you see at the bottom here, it shows it's an MP4 format, which is a video format. And I'm going to click Export. So what it's doing now is it's taking all of these frames. So it's taking all these pictures and putting them all together. So it's kind of like a still shot animation where it's taken several still shots, 145 of them to be exact. And we'll watch them all in quick sequence and it will look like a, a moving animation. That's the, uh, the power of a computer. At one point we used to have to do all these drawings by hand and um, the students were exceptionally good with their their drawings, but you could only get three, probably three different views of your catapult when it was done, and you could it was very difficult to make modifications or changes. So, having the ability to use SketchUp to make your um, computer aided design drawings is it's um, has its benefits for sure. So now that I'm done that, I'm going to. Um, conclude this session and um, you now know how to save your document safely, how to save it as an image, and how to save it as an animation. Until next time.